day Gretels, welcome to the second lesson in week two on momentum and impulse. In this lesson we're going to look at Newton's second law of motion in terms of momentum. Let's talk about Newton's second law of motion. We know Newton's second law of motion. It states that the net force acts on an object. The object will accelerate in the direction of the force at acceleration that is directly proportional to the force and inversely proportional to the mass. Okay, let's reread that again and put it in the equation form. It says there's a net force, so we've got F net. It equals the object will accelerate in the direction of the force at an acceleration that is directly proportional to the force and inversely proportional to the mass. So we know that that is F net is equal to mass times acceleration. F net equals mass times acceleration. Now we have Newton's second law in terms of momentum, which states that the net force acting the object is equal to the rate of change of momentum. Okay, now most important before we carry on, guys, you need to know both these definitions, both of them. Okay, you need to be able to state Newton's second law of motion as it states here, but you also need to be able to state Newton's second law in terms of momentum. So let's look at that. What does it say? It says that the net force is equal to the rate of change of momentum, which means we're looking at the change of momentum divided by the change in time, the change of momentum divided by the change in time. So how can we say that these are the same things? Well, let's work through this. Delta P is the change of momentum, which is P final minus P initial. But we know that P final minus P initial can be written as MVF minus MVI, which can be simplified as MVF minus VI over delta T. MVF minus VI over delta T. But if we rearrange that a little bit more, we can write that out as M times by VF minus VI over delta T. And that is the same as acceleration. The change in velocity over change in time is acceleration. Therefore, you can see that Newton's second law of motion, which we know is F net equals MA, is interchangeable with this equation here, which says that F net equals delta P over delta t is the rate of change of momentum. Right, please learn these laws. We're going to be using them in the next couple of examples. Let's do an example. In this example we're told that we've got 200 kilogram motorbike moves from 20 meters per second to 25 meters per second in five seconds. So we've just been shown that F net is equal to the change in momentum over the change in time, which can be rewritten as M VF minus VI all over delta T. So now let's just plug in the values. And since the motorbike is moving in one direction, we don't have to worry about the fact that this is a vector and it changes directions. It's all the same. So we've got the mass which is 200 kilograms, 200. The final velocity, because it moves from 20 to 25, so the final velocity is 25, minus the initial velocity, which is 20, all over the time of five seconds. So now we can solve this, we go 200, 25 minus 20 is 5 over the time which is 5 and 5 and 5 cancels so the net force is 200 and what is force measured in it is newtons nice and easy do you agree let's do this final example. It says a bullet of mass 20 kilograms strikes a target at 300 meters per second. So here we've got a bullet going through an apple and it's striking it at 300 meters per second and exiting at 
200 meters per second. So it's slowed down by 100 meters per second. And it says the tip of the bullet takes 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.001 seconds to pass through the target. Determine the magnitude of the force experienced by the bullet. Right, so we know that F net equals delta P over delta T, which equals delta P is M VF minus VI over delta T. So M is the mass, which is 20 grams. But remember, the mass has to be in kilograms. So what do we need to do? We need to take our 20 and divide by a thousand. So that gives us naught comma naught 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 comma naught two kilograms. Naught comma naught two kilograms. Right. So this is naught comma naught two. The final velocity is 200 minus the initial velocity is 300 over the change in time which is given as naught comma naught 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 one okay so that is naught comma naught two times by minus a hundred over naught comma naught 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 one okay so we can pop that in our calculator and times this by 100 and then we divide by 0.001 and we end up with 20,000. It's minus 20,000 and what is force measured in? Newtons. But have we finished the sum and we haven't because it says determine the magnitude of the force. The magnitude means that you don't have to Put direction and you just want the size of the force. So the magnitude of the force, F net, the magnitude, the magnitude of F net equals 20,000 newtons, which is pretty huge. Right, grade 12s, please go practice this new bit that you've learned today, which is Newton's second law in terms of momentum. Make sure you understand it and then go do the questions in the two enable system. Have a great day.